What was it like choosing a high school? Like, what took you through that process? Like, what was the first high school recruited you? How did you make a decision, et cetera? Uh, PBI was always like, like, cause my uncle was a uh, coach there, he was always trying to get me to go there. I just felt like it was a family environment there, so I mean, it was close to home too, so I felt like that was the right, the right decision. something I wanted to be a part of that's why I went there um, the crowd is crazy six man is crazy uh, every game gonna be sold out I was a little bit worried about the transition coming from public school to private school and how would he you know fit in but coming from public school to private school is different you got to wear a uniform but uh, the rules are a little bit more strict you can't get you can't get away with that as much stuff you can in public school but he, he adjusted well. He, he fit in with the team well. On the basketball court, I mean, I think he was playing behind Aaron, so he didn't take, like, a huge leadership role. And then playing, like, starting on varsity, like, that kind of got to me a little bit, too. Um, but I, I just learned. I just had to learn from, uh, from Aaron, from Slate, from the older guys. Freshman year, we started getting a lot of – talking to a lot of coaches. He got his first offer from UVA. Yeah, we were getting calls like every day. You know, I talked to this coach, I talked to that coach. So you really couldn't do too much ninth grade. So we knew that there was a lot of interest there. So it was just, it was kind of, it's kind of interesting. Um, you know, definitely proud parents. By then he had gotten his um, letter from USA Basketball to come to the camp. That's when we were really like, So he got the letter freshman year right. to try out. So he went October Chosen of his year. sophomore year. Right. That was his tryout, right. right? First camp, it was it was tough. Like uh, that was, I was probably one of the youngest person people there. It was like Trey Duvall, Trey Young, um, P.J. Washington, uh, Wendell Carter, all the all the top guys that were in the 2017 class. I mean, they were just bullying, bullying everybody. It was the altitude was it was crazy. I'm not ready. I wasn't ready for it. Man, I mean, you got 80s and with 60 some kids there. All of them good. Um, at least to go try and they might not make the team. We were WCAC championship. We were getting ready to play the semifinal game the next day. We got a call from Samson saying he wasn't going to get an invite back. And I'm like, what? Jeremy was like, he, he never flinched. We went on and played. Next thing I know, Get the call back. He goes back out and he makes the 18 cut, the 16. Yeah, he makes the 16 cut. He came back and made the team. I felt like I felt like I wasn't gonna make the team, and then like I just went all out on that on that Sunday night session. So I got the call back that I was gonna, uh, I was a top 16 player. Work, worked hard for like another two three days, and then they finally told me I was on the team. After getting snubbed. Made the team, and it's history after that. He would say, just like that connection that we can get so quick, just from being around each other for that month, like it's, it's good. And we, like we always try to hang out. If we had a certain tournament or like we're at the same tournament, we always gonna try to like like link up or something. The gold medal. I just talk about the two years. This is the this is the one from U16 the, the Americans. Um, yeah, I like I like I just like the gold medals that I got. It's it's always an accomplishment. Representing your country, playing basketball, doing what you love. This one we we went down to Argentina like we did through the U17. I mean, it's, it's a great feeling once you win uh, like the gold medal. This one is a uh, MIT. Playing to take over, then them playing like bigger events. Uh, yeah. Like that, that, that really started putting him on the map for real.
work hard. You know, the work you got to put in. And he put it in. And the next year, brand new. Step on my left foot, I guess my right. We went back, turned in, just started screaming. Like, what, what it, did you feel like? In my, like, it just felt like there was like two bones in it, like one like shifted like this. It was, it was, like, I, knew, I just knew something wasn't right. Like in my head, like the first thing I knew when I, I was thinking in my head was like, dang, my junior season is gone.